Darwinism is at work, and all of the weak zombies have now been weeded out of the local population, leaving us with only the strongest and the fastest remaining. Not only that, but the X-Factor lines are beginning to mix, and so we're going to see more than one X-Factor present on any given day. And today is going to be our day of reckoning. Survivalist difficulty, sprinting speed, 200% block damage, and all X-Factors active at the same time. That's POI infestations, high density screamers, frequent wandering hordes, headshots only, with barrel sets. And <laughs> let me tell you, things are crazy here already. I've drawn in a whole bunch of screamers, and I couldn't fend them off in time, so now I'm dealing with this crap out front. Okay, that cleans up most of the mess, I think. Are we all quiet here? Yeah, I think I was making the mistake of just shooting too much. Yeah, we're not allowed to shoot guns today, apparently. Right, okay, reload, and I'm infected. Medicine, uh, and I have, I've used so many, I don't think I've ever used as many antibiotics as I have in the last couple of weeks here. Uh, I wish there was something I could do with some of these steroids. You know what? Probably just sell a couple stacks of those along with some vitamins and painkillers. Try to clean some of this stuff out. Speaking of, that's going to be our first stop for today. Over to the traders. Let me show you what I did this morning, though. I rearranged just a little bit in here. So basically, we have three forges now. One is for stone making cement. One is for iron making steel. One is for lead and brass making bullets. And um, this block over here in the corner, that's going to be where that repair block goes. And otherwise... Uh, it's, it, I think it's a little bit cramped, a little, but it's cozy, right? It's, it seems pretty well organized in here, and I got everything wired up in terms of traps off of that switch right there. Oh, that reminds me, the electric fences, I can't repair them. I ran out of electrical parts, so we need to remember to do a little bit of harvesting when we're out today. Speaking of that, let's grab up, oh... Just give me a couple seconds here. I'll meet you over at the traders. I'm going to see if I can get some good mods onto those high quality items right there. And I'll get them repaired up too. All right. We made it over to Trader Joel's. Fingers crossed now that he's going to have that solar cell for us. It's all hinging on Joel. Okay. The coast seems relatively clear. There are a lot of zombies. I think there are going to be more zombies just out and about in the world from now on. And yeah, we have a ton of equipment to go through here to sell to Joel today. Zombies are coming out of the woodwork today. Oh my goodness, there's still more. <laughs> Hang on a second. All right, let's get inside before any more show up. All right, let's do sugar butt. Purchase an awesome sauce. And I gotta go get the Magnum just to <laughs> push Steve's body out of the way briefly. There we go. Okay, nerdy glasses on. That activates my better barter skill. Magnum out for better bartering skill. Slug down that awesome sauce and let's do some business. But first, a quick reward. Let's go for... Ooh, exploding crossbow bolts. That sounds like it could be fun. Let's take that. And... Oh! <laughs> Trader Joel's giving us the bundle reward, man. I don't have time for this. Uh, just put some ammo on the table briefly. And I will take the Blade Trap Bundle. Joel gets his numbers mixed up. He's very confused in his old age. He's getting a little bit senile. We have not done seven required jobs. We're going to do all seven required jobs. And then I will do the bundle thing. But for now, uh, we're on the clock. So we got to get rid of all this stuff. Okay, I think I messed up that second pass there. And while we have the awesome sauce, just tell me. Tell me you've got the solar cell. Just search for it. Solar cell, there it is. 16,000. Ah, I have 10 seconds to decide. Okay, we have to take it. That's, an, that's a really expensive repair block. We better not lose that somehow. My goodness, it's done. Okay, and the awesome sauce just ran out. So let's slow down a little bit. I think I did mess up. I didn't have the magnum out because I went outside to get more loot. I killed some zombies with the spear and I think I left the spear out there. Let's take... um. A second here and just go through the rest of his stuff. I'll take that customized fitting mod, some steel gloves. Um, probably should take those. I have military gloves on right now. Yeah, I mean, I, I'm so filthy rich right Well, I'm not filthy rich right now. All of my money's outside. Yeah, have a look at the charge of money we have now. Oh my God, that's a lot. Okay, and that blade trap bundle. Uh, for some reason, when I take multiple quests from Joel, I he kind of counts them as done. He just, he trusts me that much. He knows I'm going to get the job done. So he has given me the bundle reward for the tier fours. And I would argue inappropriately. So we're not allowed to use the blade trap bundle until we complete the set of jobs. How many do we have left anyway? We've done 
Ha wait, wait a minute. Have we done all the tier fours? That's one. The tier four clear there at the high school. Two, three, four, five, six. Uh, we need to do one more technically. Okay, and then we. So yeah, we'll do that on the way home today, and then we'll uh, we'll just bring the blade trap with me. I'm trying to be honest here, but at the same time, I think we're we're fine. He prorated us basically for one quest. Opening trade routes, uh, Southeast Trader Bob. We know Bob. And was there anything else in here that I want to scoop up before I head home? Oh, that's a, is that a cheap awesome sauce? That feels very inexpensive. I'm going to take that. And I'm just going to take the auger as well. We're going to go from level three steel pickaxe to level three auger. I feel like that's a huge jump. And it looks like that'll just about do it. All right. We did it, man. We got that solar cell. I've been... I've been anticipating that for so long. It's just such a relief to finally get that out of the way. We need to first do some quests while we're out and about today. We got to do the one more for Bob anyway. Um, well, geez, there's like a massive infestation headshot only. It's a miserable day to do quests, but you got to do what you got to do. Let's head up here to, I think it's Fort Bags, and we'll try to do that one. Um, maybe we can pick up taylor's treasure on the way through we'll come up and hit that cross the bridge and head over how's that sound let's do it did i see that right that when i killed a zombie it decreased the radius that's a, that's an interesting observation there i'm infected again thomas get out of here man found the treasure and we're in. Same old stuff. Nothing special there. Mostly ammo. Okay, whoa! <laughs> I parked down here somewhere. Just turned out to break my ankles along the way. All right, let's go find Fort Bags. All right, this looks like the spot right here. Was this an infestation or was this like a regular old tier four clear? Oh, it's just a tier four clear. Okay. We have landmines on the outside, but zombies are impervious to landmines today. Headshots only. All kinds of lumberjacks rolling in here too. And I'll take out that cat here in just a second. Whoop. We've got zombies from inside that are making their way out as well. Great. I, I see. I, whoop, more landmines are going off from somewhere. There's a stump over there as well, I see. I'm going to see if I can get some honey out of that in just a second. Holy crap with the lumberjacks, man. That's probably generating a ton of heat. Um, there's not much I can do about that, though. No honey out of that. We're going to have to suffer with the infection for a while longer. And where did that cat go? I can just see him down there. Got him. Okay, we do have a quest marker here. It's on the other side. And so I'm going to go around. I don't want to like walk through and stir up 30 zombies and then, you know, have to start all over again, basically. Let's just park it over here. There we go. And we can also check this here for loot. And whoa, that is a stacked lawnmower right there. And we got to take it apart as well for some gasoline. Did I just get a metal chain mod and um, a crop harvester mod by wrenching this? I've wrenched like at least 10 lawnmowers in my time here, and that's never happened before. Very interesting. I guess someone already decked out the lawnmower with some metal chains for, I don't know, killing zombies or something. Okay, man, uh, things are poorly organized. I, I ended up bringing stuff with me that I didn't mean to. I should have left it over at Joel's. All right, before this gets in any more out of hand, let's hit the quest. Ah, right. Zombies in the trenches. This is basically the exact same place as what we cleared out there a couple of days ago. Oh, boy. <laughs> I'm going to thread the needle walking through here. Okay, let's just go. Let's just go. Get them all. Get them all out. Everybody out. Yes, all the burnt zombies. Tower zombies. Yes, come with me. We've got trench zombies. I immediately regret my decision to do that. Let's get a blackstrap coffee. Let's get a hobo stew. And let's do this. Oh my god, this is insanity. Look how many zombies are here right now. Well, this is my opportunity. My time to shine. Oh, no, it's not. They're up here. Crap. Okay, I don't even know what to do right now. I think they can get to me, which honestly is not half bad if they have to take a weird route to do it. Yeah, it's kind of a bad spot to be in right here. Just gonna have to keep jumping around. Whoa! Uh, I, I can't fight right now because of the headshot thing. Ah! Yeah, I, I don't know about all this right now. For, for a second, I was feeling a little bit heroic, like I could do this, but I, I don't know about this now. Um, 
I can't kill anybody right now, and the mines are not doing me any good. In fact, they're probably doing me a lot of harm. I'm really not doing a lot of damage, and with the speed of the zombies, grab that, I can't really get that good headshots, you know? Okay, what I need to do is I, I need to string them out to the extent that... Oh, I don't want to fail the quest, though. I need to string them out to the extent that I can start, like, peeling off groups of five or ten and kill them that way. Yeah, like that over there. Just kind of string them along here. Oh, not working at all. I'm bleeding. I'm bleeding and I can't run. I'm going to break a leg at this rate. If I go over to guns, though, we're going to have to deal with screamers. Ah, and I don't have a lot of ammo. I don't really see any other way to get through this right now. Oh, that was a landmine I walked over. Brilliant. Okay, I have something of a system in place now where I can kind of kite them on the perimeter and um, kind of get them in that ideal lineup for me so that I can benefit from target penetration on the spear. Here we go. Okay, if we can just continue with this for another four hours, I think we'll have this place cleared out. Man, basically that was one full lap. <laughs> Let's just take a lap around here and see all the zombie bodies that I left behind. Oh my god, dude. There were so many zombies here and I... I... Are there more? Yeah, there definitely are more. We haven't even finished the quest yet. I'm surprised we still even have the quest. I've been running around so much. Just a... Uh, an absurd amount of zombies in this POI here. And this is what we have to deal with every single time we go out from now on. Wow, jeez, what did I miss along the way here? Is there any loot at all or <laughs> has the entire place been destroyed? We do have, um, oh, an underground portion. Oh, that's great. Let's deal with these guys. I'm not gonna proceed with explosive barrels right now. I'm surprised I haven't heard or seen a screamer just yet, but I don't wanna take my chances and, and or increase my chances of seeing one by letting off a bunch of bullets or blowing up barrels or anything really just stick with the spear still not clear though yeah i have a feeling that that basement that we saw there a second ago is probably right full of them well there's one way to find out let's jump down in here oh my infection's getting a little out of control oh switch door okay just crouch down for a second ah oh yes I've triggered them. Here they come. Outside we go again. Get out of here, Peter Pan. Yup, that did it. We've got another probably 20 zombies that have come out here, including mutated zombies. About 50% rads. Man, I have never been so happy to be a heavy armor user in my whole life. I'd be long dead if I was wearing simple light armor. Okay, that's it for that wave. Let's go back down and scoop up another- No, we're done. Yeah, clear the area is over. I think this is the loot right here. Brilliant, we're all set here. Okay, we're into all the loot. Let's go ahead and proceed with an eye candy. I'll clear up some of this crap in the inventory, get rid of it. And let's see what we get here. Working stiff toolbox, handy land, and a little bit of cement. Oh, a nice machete. We're like skirting the edge of being able to get a level six spear. We've gotten the Nux, the, um, the baseball bat, a couple of others, but yeah, still no spear and nothing good in there, really. I will go ahead and read Sarah's treasure, though, while I'm out here. Where did that take us, though? Ah, crap. Down into the pine forest. Well, I guess that's about it. I'm going to poke through the rest of the loot here. I'm also going to do some salvaging and see if I can get some electrical parts. And then we're going to head back home, get the auto claim repair block crafted. We'll also stop by Joel's and get our reward. And that'll be just about it. Okay, here we are. We're at Trader Joel's. Got no time for the zombies outside. Hopefully they don't make it inside, though. Looks like one of them did. 
Okay, Joel, I got your seventh and final quest so that I can properly earn my bundle reward there, the blade trap bundle that I got. Today, I will take... Okay, we already got the steel axe a couple of rewards ago. I guess I'll take the crafting skill magazine bundle, even though I'm not really gunning for anything anymore. And uh, we're done with jobs. We'll get tier fives from him from now on, or the tier four infesteds, maybe. What, what have I done out here? Oh, jeez. I don't think they just ran out of nowhere. Okay, we don't have time for this. We gotta get out of here. If we can... Oh! Getting scratched a little bit. Oh, I saw this weird formation when I drove through here. Oh, it must have been a lamp post that fell down. That's what that is. Jeez. All right, we gotta get home and treat this infection almost at 15% now. Sorry, Joel. You're on your own for tonight. Okay, we're home, but we're far from safe. We're a little bit safer now. All right, start getting this stuff ported up and we'll get organized here. Oh, and pretty much immediately we need to start crafting the auto claim repair block. See if we can get that down before morning. All right, let's see if we can do it. Claim auto repair block. Ooh, eight minutes. Okay, so we'll have it by morning at least. Um, okay, we need to... I think uh, sometimes you have to have the resources on your person in order to craft these. Is that the case? Yes. Blade trap bundle. Good for 10 blade traps. Plenty of extras. And that actually kind of puts off our trip to the desert to mine oil shale for oil because oil was the only thing holding me back on crafting those myself. Okay, we'll take an antibiotic. That should be good for 25%. Yeah, that's plenty to cure that infection that we have. Um, I'm out of first aid kits. I have one on my inventory. Is this something that I can make yet? Oh, that requires a ton of bandages per first aid kit. Five bandages? Okay, bandages take like 10 cloth. We only have 85 cloth. Really, it's 50 cloth for one first aid kit? Well, I guess I'm using first aid bandages for the rest of my life. Okay, we've got uh, four dew collectors, three forges rolling. <laughs> We're gonna be calling in screamers hand over fist here. And we, just like that, we do have a screamer here somewhere. And um, she probably, I think she's able to see me almost immediately as she comes up here, so. She's already seen me, crap. There she is. What are you doing? Great. Okay, Horde Knight basically has started now because we're gonna get ferals and everything up here and... Oh, they're doing the thing already. Why are you guys doing that anyway? It concerns me. It, yeah, let's, um... How can I prevent that? See, okay, they snap out of it after a few seconds. So I guess I'm not too concerned about it. I think tomorrow we should do the big pit project. I think I'm pretty much ready to do that now. Okay, I think that just about did it for the Screamer Horde. Let's start working on some concrete mix. Have a quick bite to eat. Grab my nail gun. And I need to jump downstairs. Got plenty of time here. But I need to repair the electric fences. I've been kind of thinking that we should probably have the receiving fence up here. And then see if there's a way that we can... Um, repair those during Horde Night as well. I might kind of switch things around here just a little bit, because I think all that would consist of is, look, one, two, three. Actually, I think, I think that block right there is a wall block. I don't know. I'll have to sit down and brainstorm this, but I think if we like replaced that top block with something like, um, like a 3D trussing block, maybe, uh, we might be able to reach down and fix it. Oh yeah, SMG turret took some damage because uh, I wasn't able to fully upgrade this last time. And we're not... Uh, yeah, unlock ammo. We're not using that tonight because it's not going to be able to get headshots. Oh my goodness, with the screamers. You know, the screamer thing wasn't much of an issue early on. But now that we're generating a ton of heat just by existing, it's kind of a problem. And also... Screamer zombies are a lot stronger than they used to be. Yeah, see, there's still more out there. I think she might have called in five or ten. Jeez, this is going to be a pretty rough horde. Headshots only. That means basically traps are useless. I'm not even going to turn the traps on tonight, come to think of it. Traps are useless. Also, bombs are useless. Well, at any rate, let's lock and load because the horde is almost upon us. All right, here we go. As predicted, we're fighting a Screamer Horde and the regular Horde both at the same time. So essentially, things are going to be starting a little bit hot and heavy. Although up here at the fighting position, I mean, this is just ideal. It doesn't get any better than this in terms of a position that is meant for headshots, that is meant to fight a Horde like we have today with the X factors that we have, the headshots, everything. Uh oh, we are getting pops, though, right out of the gate. 
Um, yeah, make sure that door is closed. We should be all sealed up in here. I think we'll be fine. We'll be fine. Oh my goodness, we have a lot of cops, though. Take them out. Don't let them blow, please. Although, if they do blow up downstairs, down there, probably not bad. We gotta dig all that concrete out anyway. It might actually help. Things are pretty crowded outside. Little bit of a log jam there on the stairs. We'll have to keep an eye on this because if, uh, if we're having trouble with flow, zombies might get angry and start breaking things. We might have to do some renovations out there in the coming days. Yeah, we're gonna have to brainstorm ways that we can utilize traps to help defend the base, even when we have headshots only active. That kind of throws a wrench in everything. The blade traps are, well, they're not really nullified. Maybe we should just test it out and see if we can get any kills because one of the blade traps on each side is oriented such that it should be getting headshots. Let's spin those up and just see what happens. Let them rip. What's the worst that could happen, right? Take a little bit of damage. I can't say for certain they're they're doing something. I think I've seen a couple of zombies die down there, but I don't think it's significantly helping anyway. Well, now that it's been a minute, I do see a whole bunch of zombie bodies there, and I'm even starting to see some loot bags. So it is working to some degree. I'm going to leave them on. We'll just let them run, let them degrade, or whatever. Whatever happens, happens. Oh my god, these cops. We got an, uh, an acopolics here. Okay, yeah, the flow outside is not doing too badly. I think now that we've cleared out the screamers and all the additions that they brought, <laughs> um, things have quieted down out there a little bit. However, I'm starting to lose some blocks up here at the fighting position, so I'm going to switch them over to the middle lane. We'll fight them there for a while. They're kind of starting to peel into the side of the wall there. I hate it when they do that. So tomorrow when we start working on the pit, our objective there is going to be just containing the zombies for a time. Just, just give them a little bit of a delay on coming back out here. Hopefully they can stack up to the point where we can get, you know, five or ten kills with a pipe bomb. And then, of course, anyone that's weakened by the pipe bombs or from just regular old combat or all the electric fences that we have can then run into the electric fence blade trap. I, I, I think I'm going to call them... What should we do? Electric fence blade trap or um, a blade fence? Well, yeah, we'll call it a blade fence out there on the front. Oh, my goodness. What is going on in here? I got a bird inside? Oh. Yeah, they might be doing some damage to the roof. Okay, so... Upcoming project. We gotta get up there and see what's going on in the attic. I've heard the shotgun turret going off occasionally, but... I guess it's not doing its job completely. That or there's just like an absolutely massive opening for them to swoop down in, you know? Yeah, look at this though. This is just going spectacularly. Look at the bodies downstairs. It's crazy. Um, they, they don't stack up here nearly as bad as they used to. They don't really duck down as bad. They don't squish through as much. Really, this is a, a great setup. I've been liking it a lot. The only problem that we really have is that the cops most certainly can spit through and hit me. And I think that would be corrected with an, a scaffolding ladder on the back like we had before. See, <laughs> there's just nothing I can do about it. Just take it or let it blast the uh, the, the blocks behind me. I, I'd rather take the damage than risk the stuff in the in behind me, oh, quite honestly. It's all right. So a little bit of cop spit will uh, grow some hair on your chest, right? That's what Joel told me anyway. See, what I can't get to the bottom of is why the zombies keep doing that. They just broke that block. They've broken three or so over there on the left. Even though they have a patent pathway, they still like to do that occasionally. Okay, whoa, something bad just happened. Oh, the birds up inside. They destroyed the timer relay, which is what all the lights are connected to. So, all right, we'll have a fight in the shade then. It's actually kind of all right. I needed to rewire things a little bit anyway. So yeah, we'll just make a project out of that in the morning. And in the meantime, I did buy a lantern here somewhere. Where is, there it is. I put those fluorescent lights away and I put some spotlights that I had in here. There's one right there and there's one over there. So it's really bright in here when, you know, we have power. Whoop, 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 whoop. Hang on, hang on, we gotta do some repairs here. Already lost the outside shape, it is hard to keep that outside shape there upgraded because you can't see it. So I can't really tell when it's degraded. That's kind of the drawback of doing the double uh, whole plates here. Yeah, this limited visibility here, it's kind of creepy. I, I, I'm a little bit more worried now. I can't really see what's going on quite as much, but we're at uh, 2 a.m. Should be through with the horde in no time. Well, it's, you know, two hours technically, but 
<laughs> it shouldn't feel like too long. Oh, great. This is a wave containing spiders, the bane of my existence. Spiders and bikers. Those guys are like best buddies. You know, we saw the one at the movie theater yesterday that uh, the spider zombie had taught the biker some new tricks. Little backflips. Go! No, oh, bad, 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 I fell out, I fell down. Oh my goodness. Where do I go, where do I go? Up to the ladder, 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 go, go, go. Oh my God, what happened there? That was, oh, we're losing stuff over here. We're losing stuff, get it replaced. Get it replaced and upgraded. Oh my God, we still have wooden floor out here. What is wrong with me? Oh, with the cops like this? Crap, man, that was, that was very, very close. Wow. Okay, pay attention to the cops a little bit, would you? I just had one blow up in my face too on that side. Kind of ruined the whole position there, but I switched him over here in time. Okay, yeah, get that front plate fixed up if we can. Got plenty of steel, don't worry about that. And uh, yep, work on the concrete a little bit. Okay, holy crap, man. One hour remaining. This has been a pretty brutal horde here, quite honestly. It always is when it's, you know, headshots only, High block damage percentage. Try to hit those cops as they come up. Try to interrupt their spitting motion. That was my last first aid kit too. <laughs> and at 50 cloth a pop, I don't think we're making any more. Actually, oh no, wait, we got the crop harvester mod for the lawnmower. Did we, we never made the grass harvester. Oh right, because we need the uh, wasteland treasure book where we can turn plant fiber into cloth. I think that's, at that point, we'll be able to just mow the lawn Take the, the plant fiber, the grass, turn it into cloth, and then we'll basically have unlimited cloth by using the lawnmower. At least that's my strategy. That's the only strategy I have for getting first aid kits. We could try the hospital next door. Or we could just start using painkillers more often. I guess that's an option too. Oh, great. Now we got this guy stuck in the way. Yeah, when this happens, you just have to kind of start <laughs> peeling the body parts off until they fall through. Come on, man. Crap, it's, it's really not working that well. Here, put a bomb there and see if that'll jostle him free. I guess that worked. All right, how are we looking on the floor here? I do not want to fall through the floor again. Just continue getting that upgraded as much as possible. What a catastrophic failure that almost was. Okay, we do have an interesting development. If you see down there, we have multiple zombies that just are... What y'all doing down there anyway? Just trying to rip through the wall, I guess. Okay, not entirely sure why they're doing that, but I'll leave them to it, I guess. No, I won't. I'm gonna throw a pipe bomb down there and just see what we can do against him. Probably nothing, but make him angry a little bit, probably. Okay, officially morning now. We still have a lot of zombies here. I'm just gonna kind of sit tight and let them come to me. Should be through with this in the next couple of minutes. No guns, though. No guns. Too much heat. In fact, probably go turn off the forges temporarily. Yeah, look at the mess down there. Look at all the blood. I don't know what's wrong with them. There's... There must be a problem with the ramp if they're not wanting to come up here. Let's go ahead, shut them down on this side, see if they want to come up on this side maybe instead. And no, I have eyes on the ramps out there. Ugh, just... We got cursed zombies here. They, they've caught the curse of the fire station. <laughs> they don't know what they're doing. I don't know what they're doing at least. And they're starting to work their way up here though. See, they didn't even want to carve through. They just wanted to use the wall as a staircase to get up here. Okay, I think I've defeated enough zombies that I can probably head downstairs to finish things out. Let's go. Okay, I don't think they used the tunnel that they dug last time. Where, where was the tunnel entrance that we built for them? Right there. So maybe they were using it, but... I didn't notice them making it any worse anyway. There we go. Six skill points to spend. Lovely. Is that it? Whoop, Peter Pan here. Last one. Yeah. Okay, we didn't even get that many loot bags last night. I felt like I was killing them pretty well, but yeah. What, what was the whole situation out here? Okay, they like carving into the side of the wall. They carved this massive section of wall out here. Oh my god, man. Stupid zombies. All right, let's scoop these loot bags up before they start disappearing. I'm sure we've already lost half of them anyway. Okay, we did lose a blade trap. No, we lost two of them, actually. No matter, though, because we have ten more in the blade trap bundle that we got from Joel today, yesterday. Okay, let's port all that stuff up into storage boxes. We have Sarah's treasure. I'm going to save that because I want to read it when I'm not in this neighborhood here okay we're organized uh what were, 
we doing here? We were trying to get the auto claim repair block in. That will be nice to have. Okay, very fancy. Now, the way this works, I think, is that I need to put uh, steel and cobble and cement mix into it. And I don't think I'll be able to build with these materials anymore. I think these are specifically just repair materials. But I do want to just make sure... We should be seeing this number tick down as it as the robot repairs the base, I think. Do we have any other options here? Turn on. Is it on? Whoop. It's making noises. Uh, oh, it's changing colors, too. Whoop. What is this? Claim auto repair could use some wood. Oh, okay. Yeah, I can hear it making, like, ticking noises. Like, it's it's slowly, like, tick, 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 ticking up the base. I guess the test is, okay, five, th I don't know what, if it does, I think it does one block at a time. So it, it really takes a long time for it to, like, fully repair everything. It probably would help if we went around as well and just, um... You know, oh, see, look, it's repairing that block right there. It just repaired that window. Maybe it works, like proximal to distal so it's gonna get the blocks that are closest to it first and then work its way out it will definitely be interesting to see how much progress it can make in any given day or if this look it's doing that block right there there it goes okay it actually is it's seemingly working pretty fast oh by the way we need to get the floor upgraded what a stupid mistake that was i didn't even think about the floor and we're out of cobble so am i I am able to use the materials that are in here to uh, to build and repair myself. Okay, that is good. That's convenient. I thought for a second they might be kind of like off limits if I put them in there. Uh, we're definitely going to need a lot more cobblestone because a lot of this base is cobblestone and we're going to need it for repair. So I am going to get my kit reorganized and we're going to go out and do some mining this morning. Uh, whoops. I am working on... Um, gunpowder bullet tips we're gonna be working on some more forged steel and some more cement tons of resources need to be crafted now oof and we've got some base repair work to do as well and we've got to fix the electrical and we got to see what's going on on the rooftop and in the attic but anyway my friends thank you very much for joining me on my adventure today and i will see you hopefully in the next one Hey everyone, I just wanted to say thank you for watching, for leaving a like, but most of all, thank you to the long list of amazing supporters that you see right here. I hope this episode has earned your subscription, and I can't wait to show you the next one. Best wishes to all, and goodbye.